Sentries on the hill, what do you see? There's hundreds of them, sir. They're everywhere, lined up in rows. They're really ugly. <laughs> they look mean, too. I think they're getting restless, sir. I think they're getting ready to attack. Who are they? Philistines. Philistines, call for the army of the living God. Insults at us. 
Yeah, and then he challenges us to fight him one on one. Well, why don't you? Are you kidding? Nobody could fight him. Yeah, you don't know anything about military stuff. Where have you been? Watching sheep. <laughs> well, the man's a monster. It looks like he fell out of it. It looks like he fell out of an ugly tree. Yeah, and hit every branch on the way down. <laughs> Yeah, but 
who's going to do it? <coughs> Listen, if somebody killed Goliath, would King Saul reward them? He's right. The king would probably give you land and riches. Ooh. Even better, I bet your family would never have to pay taxes again. Ooh. Then the king might even give you his daughter's hand in marriage. Wait a minute. Which daughter? The youngest one. Princess Michael? I know her. She's a friend of mine. Is that right? No, really. I sit see her when I sing at the palace. You little know-it-all. You can't fool me. What do you mean? I know you're really here. You just want to see a battle. What did I say? All I said was, Sonny ought to teach this Goliath a lesson. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. We've had enough of that Philistine trash talk. Yeah. It's an outrage. Yeah. We're not going to take it anymore. Yeah! So who's going to stand up and do it? I'm kind of busy. It's not my job. I have a previous commitment. What kind of excuses are those? What? No. Better ones? Why did you say so? <coughs> I'm allergic to Philistines. <coughs> my dog in the battle plan. I fought at the office. I'm a little short today. <laughs> I just washed my sling, and I can't do a thing with it. I'm afraid of heights. Pears. Um, I'm courage and pear. I'm bravery challenge. I'm sudden death and tolerance. <laughs> Come on, there's gotta be somebody. <laughs> Use a ladder to lace up your sandals. 
you're so short, you gotta cut your underwear. <laughs> hey, leave him alone. At least he has the courage to speak up. Who are you? I'm a friend. Ooh, I'm afraid. <laughs> Don't you know that's the king's daughter? Princess Michael? Like I said, I'm afraid I haven't made your acquaintance. Oh, Shalom, beautiful princess. Fairest of all women, your nose like a cedar of Lebanon. Your lips like a pomegranate cut open. Your neck oh, like please, a... Please, please, try not to grovel on my toenails. So sorry, your highness. I had no idea. Somehow I'm not surprised. Michael, what are you doing? I'm sticking up for you. So listen up, all you great big heroes. I know you think David's a joke, but you don't know him like I do. When my father's having one of his temper tantrums, David's the only one who can calm down. Everybody else runs off. But David, David stays and plays music. Please, Michael, you don't have to defend me. I want to. That's what friends are for. So next time you're running scared, look around and see who's still standing tall. You might be surprised. Are you okay? I don't know. That was kind of embarrassing. Hey, if your friends can't say good things about you, who can? I guess so. Besides, you do the same for me. Well... Come on, you know you would. Yeah, I guess you're right. So maybe next time you'll be there for me. This is just my turn. Thanks. Don't mention it. So, you don't think I'm crazy? You're standing up for God, right? Yeah. Well then, crazy or not, I'm right here with you. I'll stand with you. You'll stand with me. We'll stand for God, for all to see. Stand straight and tall when others bend. And in the Lord, we'll stand as friends.
I need a favor, Michael. Anything. I need somebody to tell the, Goliath, to tell the king I'm ready to fight Goliath. Are you sure? I am now. I tell myself, but I don't think he'd listen. Don't worry, I'll do it. Make way once again for the approach of the shield bearer of Goliath. The mighty Goliath grows even more weary of dealing with cowardly vermin who will not fight. You are beneath even his written insult. He once again sends us his lowly servants to insult you in his place. Using our own words as we see fit. And so we say unto you. <laughs> Hey, I think I see some chickens. Look at them shaking in their sandals. Hey, what do you get when you set fire in an Israelite army? A cowering inferno. <laughs> you call yourself soldiers? You couldn't even find your own swords with a match. Looks like they're a few pl plague, plague short of an exodus. If they were any more stupid, you'd have to water them twice a week. So where's your powerful god taking a nap? Oh, didn't you know? They worship a god you can't see or touch. Yeah, they call him Yahweh. I think they have to call him no way. Ooh. <laughs> hey, what do Israelites say when they call their god for help? No way, no way, no way. This is even worse. Now they're making fun of God. We've got to do something. Condition red. We've got a bogey at six o'clock. What is it, sentries? It appears to be King Saul, sir. Yeah, and he looks royally ticked. Somebody must have told him about that last round of insults. Okay, everybody, you know the drill when he's in one of these moods. Duck and cover. Oh, I am as mad as Sheila, and I cannot take it anymore. I am so mad, I am sweat love. I am so mad, I'll give you a tongue lashing that will leave scars. I am so mad, my dirty looks are X-rated. Please, please, Father, calm down. You're scaring the audience. But I want some music. Where's the boy with the heart? He's right here, sir. Hey. Who asked you? No one asked me. What's this I hear about wanting to fight the giant? Yes, Your Highness, I think I can do it. You're too little to fight Goliath. The man's a professional soldier. He's been fighting for years. You're just a boy. Yes, but I'm also a shepherd. What's that got to do with anything? I know how to face danger, sir. Huh? I've had to fight before. What are you talking about? Please, Father, give him a chance to explain. <sighs> All right, but this better be good. What are you all staring at? Come down and listen to the boy. <coughs> all right, what have you got to say to yourself? Your Highness, imagine you're a shepherd. You're out in the field, all alone, late at night. And then, out of the darkness, a lion or a bear attacks a sheep. You're the only one that can save them, and all you have is a sling. This is not the same thing. This is a war. It's a job for an army, not for a shepherd. But Your Highness, don't you remember? Most of your army start out as shepherds. Well, they've learned to be soldiers by now. They had to in order to survive. No, Your Highness. They know better than anyone. And they'll tell you. The safety of Israel isn't in the strength of our soldiers. It's in the strength of the Lord. Oh. 
Please, Your Highness, let me be the one to face the giant. What if he kills me? If God save me from lions and bears, I know he can save me from a Philistine. What do you say, Michael? Do you believe this boy? I'm afraid for him, Father, but I know God's with him. Okay, David, I'll let you go. Under one condition. What? You have to wear my armor to protect yourself. Just because God's on your side doesn't mean you can use a little extra insurance. Commander! Yes, sir? Get this shepherd ready for battle. Bring out the king's armor. <coughs> and if this doesn't work, I'm going to be so mad, I'll chew on a spearhead and spit needles! Breastplate. Shin guard. Shoulder piece. Thigh brace. Foot mantle. Arm bend. Knee plate. Elbow cap. Wrist cover. Neck sheath. Face lock. Helmet. Shield. Spear. Dagger. Sword. Put on the armor. Tied to the straps. Buttons in the buttons and pass in the snaps.
make way once again for the approach of the shield bearer of Goliath. Who dares to answer the awesome challenge of the Philistine army and their mighty champion? I do. Uh, boy, you're sending us a boy? <laughs> <laughs> Very well, prepare to meet Goliath. I see before me, I can't believe my eyes. His feet are in the valley, his head is in the skies. And now he's coming towards us, he's coming closer still. He's looking like a man, he's looking like a hill. We're standing in his shadows, he's blocking out the sun. So, you want to fight me, little boy? I come so the whole world will know there is a God in Israel. There is a God, all right. His name is Beelzebub, God of the Philistines. And by Beelzebub, I'll hack you to pieces and feed you to the birds. You defy my God, but today the Lord will deliver you to my hand. What? Would that stick? You think I'm a dog? You gonna play fetch with me? You carry a spear, but I come in the name of Lord of Hosts. Curse you, you little maggot. You're Jack the Wade. Not this day. This day, the battle is the Lord's. They stand and face each other. They circle to the right. It just says, no Goliath is sure to win the fight.
it's been our pleasure to share this story with you. And the kids and the leaders have worked so hard. And uh, it's just really fun to see what comes from that. And so uh, we are, again, thrilled that you came and joined us. We would like to invite you to the cookie reception. However, the kids need to go get out of their costumes. So if we could just kind of hold things until they have gotten their costumes off and come back, that would be great. So thanks again.